breaking news. For the first time, we are hearing from the Dixon County father who's accused of killing his five-year-old son. Are you afforded opportunities um, to, to go outside and exercise at Riverbend? Yes. But do you take advantage of those? No. And why is that? Because of the stress from the inmates. Joseph Daniels appeared in court this morning. Investigators say Daniels admitted to killing his son back in April. Now the boy's body has still not been found. Today in court, Joseph Daniels told a judge his health has deteriorated since he's been at Riverbend Prison in Nashville. Now, Alan Frio is joining us with more on today's extraordinary testimony and a request for a change in the trial's location. Alan, you have more on that. Yes, I do. Holly, the, uh, the judge denied a change of venue for Joseph Daniels. However, he did agree to bring a jury in from other counties in Tennessee when he faces charges of murdering his son, Joe Clyde. Now, Joseph Daniels spoke at today's hearing where he was also at when he also he also asked, I should say, that he be transferred from Riverbend Prison to the Dixon County Jail. Daniel says that he's been treated very poorly at Riverbend. He's lost 80 pounds and that he is so depressed he's contemplated suicide. There have been times where I've thought about suicide in my cell, but I have no thoughts of hurting anybody else. So. Dixon County Sheriff says that his jail just does not have the resources to keep Daniels there because of the extra security that would be needed. Now, in the end, the judge ruled that Joseph Daniels will remain at Riverbend Prison. Now, Holly, in the uh, six months since Joe Clyde's disappearance, we've heard Nothing, very little, if anything, from the boy's father. And now we're getting a, a pretty good look at his life in prison in his own words. Of course, we'll continue to follow this and anything else that Absolutely. develops with this story. Alan, thank you. Also mm -hmm. new for you at noon, a change of trial venue has now been denied. This is for the man accused of killing a deputy in Dixon County. Stephen Wiggins is charged with shooting Sergeant Daniel Baker six times and then setting his patrol car on fire. This was back in May. Well, today, Wiggins and his attorney asked the judge to move the trial elsewhere, stating that the high interest of this case was not ensuring a fair trial with an unbiased jury. The judge denied the motion for a venue change, keeping the trial in Dixon County, but agreed that the jury selection was concerning. So jurors will be selected from other counties. Those locations will not be made public. An official trial date has not yet been set.